Okay, so this is part two to color blocking with ink pads on uh, extra strips, off cuts, whatever you want to call them. I decided that I would just fool around with them. Let's see if this one's got any ink left in it. Oh, this is just a white Posca. I don't... Is this a new one? No. Um, I don't... Oh, that does not feel very good on there because it's wet, so it's going to cause my Posca to turn a funky color. I don't want to do anything too complicated. I just thought I would do these because these will be things that will end up in my um, journals, my books. Those little add-ons and it's nothing too complicated and I may or may not go all the way down none of them are the same size and see I'm getting icky stuff on the end of the Posca have to wipe it off every now and then. I usually have a napkin over here somewhere and wipe the nap, wipe it on the napkin or a sheet of paper. You can find all kinds of these miscellaneous, <coughs> excuse me, flowers or vines and stuff like that on Pinterest. You don't have to pay any money to take classes. Just find them on Pinterest. There's people have put them out there and they're out there for the taking. You can replicate them according to your style, which is what I'm going to do. Let me find my pen. This is the uh, Uniball Air. I hope this will write on here. Oh yeah, it will. So I outline outline them in black because as much as I like the white, it doesn't show up all the time. So I'm just going to outline the little teardroppy leaves. And you don't have to do it perfectly. husband's rough housing with the dog so now he's got to get the dog wound up so you're probably going to hear barking in the background they're in the living room and then I just kind of go from pedal to pedal we're down the middle kind of swervy curvy you can do a single line or you can do a double makes no difference. You could do thick, you could do wavy, you could color it in, you could leave it hollow. You are the master of your plants. There you go. All right, I'm hoping that this is dry enough where I just put a little line up the middle. And it matters not which direction I go. I should play around. Then I'll make a little curly cue with the black every so often to add a little bit of interest in between the leaves. This is not real. I'm not trying to replicate an actual vine or flower of any sort. Oh, missed one and do a little thingy there. You can make it dark, you can make it light. It always looks very interesting in a journal on the side, or you can make it, 
if I had done this a different direction, you can just take it and fold it into, um, you know, if it was shorter like this, you can make it into a little um, leftover coffee dyed book or anything like that. And that's why these are so much fun is I just sit and doodle or I'll stamp on them. It just, it does, when I'm not feeling especially creative, I try to do something simple like this to get the creative juices going. Because I know others struggle. Like you have times where you think, I am brain dead, I just cannot do this. And then there's other times you're like, oh, I just feel so creative today. And then you just whip out the most wonderful thing and then the next day you're like, I can't, I can't do this today. You know, I mean, Everybody has days like that where they just don't feel like doing things. You just have your moments where you're just not feeling it. And I, I think that happens to every artist. Like, you know, you get your minds on family matters or... I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in the shower, sometimes I'm making a grocery list in my head. Or I'm thinking of conversations that I had that maybe I should have added one more comment to the sentence that I made. Or thinking about friends who are not feeling well. What can I do to cheer them up? Um, that kind of thing. You know? So it, it's one of these things that just kind of... It's a... I hate to use that. I think this saying gets overused, but it's kind of a Zen thing. Where you just sit... And you make squigglies. And it just is nothing complicated. It's not something that you have to commit to for long periods of time. It's a very small project that pays off in so many different ways. It pays off on what you're about what you're thinking about. It could pay off for your journals if you turns out you really like what you created. I should never would I, when I sit down to do this. I never have any plans. I never have any great aspirations of any kind because that's not the point of doing this. I had a long day going out into the world with the hubs. And came home and only spent $15 and was gone like five hours. And bleh, whatever. You know, I mean, heh. All right, let's add some green. Do I want bright green? No, I do not. I really don't like this dark one either, but this is what I've got. So let us use it. Like I said, I have no real apparent aspirations for anything. I'm just filling in with green stuff. Squiggles. Nothing formed, nothing... Yeah, you know? Put my finger in it. Well, okay. And that is the way that goes. So, there we go. Uh, let's put one more up here, just for grins and giggles. All right, there's that. Gotta let it dry a little bit. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna fiddle around with it. I'm just gonna fill it in with the ink pen. Add dots, beep, 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 beep. Add some kind of funky leaf. It has, it can, doesn't have to be form. It can be very nondescript scribbly which I have gotten into lately. I do like the scribbly look. I, I don't know if that is official art turn, scribble. See, this is, it's not anything complicated. Anybody can make a scribble. I mean, look at that. That's just really is scribbling. You're watching and I am only Scribbling. And then I just 
make little dots around where the top of the flower is. Just add a teeny bit of detail. It doesn't need a ton. There we go. I'm just kind of going with the way the squiggle goes. I mean, it doesn't look like a leaf. I really don't care. It'll look great later. Somebody will think it looks great. <laughs> and then just kind of do the leaves. This top part, I forgot to do that. There we go. This one, beep, beep, beep. Just squiggle at the bottom there. I don't want to make dots, it takes too long. I don't have that kind of time today. I'm tired. I'm thinking about house cleaning tomorrow <laughs> and what I forgot to buy while I was gone. So there you go. You can see the whole thing sideways. It's not up and down. Anyway, so this is the kind of stuff I do while I watch TV. And then I use it for fodder later in, in journals and book covers and, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. I will cut them small. I'll leave them long, fold them in half, sew on them, whatever it calls for. So I thought I would show you a couple ways that I will use all of these up that I did in the uh, previous video of doing the color blocking on the jelly plate. Do uh, maybe I do should do a couple more. How about let's do this one. We'll do pink since we did kind of orangey yellow stuff. All right. I don't know how to draw roses. I have no idea. I know they're kind of circular. I know roses do not grow, the ones that I'm thinking about do not grow this way, but you know, yeah, it's abstracty roses. So we'll just kind of keep going. you guys see? Yeah, okay. I'm looking up in the camera. I'm asking you and you're not even, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so there they are. Um, I'm going to kind of draw stems, black pen, nobody cares. <coughs> okay, now I think I would like to do a little, actually, maybe I should use this. What is this one? Perm it's a permanent marker. Um, do I want me to use ballpoint pen? No, guess not. All right, let's do a little bit of this. I'm not being especially careful where I color. I don't really care. Just like the last one, this is very abstract. Just trying to do like the outer stuff here. There we go, there's that. Then I'm going to do, what's this color? It's a pink! Imagine that. I'm just kind of 
and look at that it's making my ink smear all right let's do that oh that is not attractive okay i don't want my ink to smear do i have pink poscas yes i do let's cover this up oh that looks terrible all right i'll go back over it with the pen later to redefine what I drew. Probably should have done the Posca in the beginning, huh? Live and learn. All right, and now we blow. Uh, maybe. I need that Posca to dry. Then I'll go back around it again and redefine some of this stuff so it doesn't look so smeary. There we go. That looks better. Next time, I'll start with the Posca blob, right? And we'll do a couple here, and then circle around there. And there you go. There's, like, that's what I do with my leftover stuff. I'm not trying to do anything really special, just drawing. I could do, um, abstract flowers. My mat's bumpy, sorry. These are my favorite ones. I learned how to make these from Debbie Payne. And because there's so much color on these, unless you need to really emphasize a certain color, you can just draw on it with a black pen. Color in this part so it sticks out more with the black. Fill in the blank so it makes these look more rounded. Gives them a little more emphasis. Um, maybe I will take a little extra color around the edge. I like the way that looks. Uh, let's see. White. Oh, I don't want to use this one. Let's try this. And just give a little white emphasis right here on the edges of the little round things. I think of them as peas. <laughs> and then we do this. And then you just color in stripes. Like I said, there is no rhyme or reason of what it is I'm doing. I'm just killing time and supplies. So I think when we do our no buy year, starting the 1st of November till November of next year, I'm only going to order stuff that I need to replace things like last time. Just order the stuff I need to replace something else. All right, so there you go. There's just this. All right, and then... This could have this. Just color them in. Bing. And then maybe put some lines around it so it has emphasis. Oh yeah, we need little curly cues at the top. And maybe a little curly cue at the bottoms. And then one up here. So there it is. And then you can take the scissors and just cut it off. And then you could put you could put plastic over, acetate over it, or you could glue it on top of colored cardstock, or you could use it on coffee dyed paper, whatever your heart desires. But it, you're just doing something because you enjoy drawing it. 
It doesn't have to be anything realistic. It's just meant to be cute. So I just keep going. I keep drawing them on the same sheet and then I cut them off as I need them. I'm just going to do colors and color them in with the black pen. It doesn't take long and if you struggle with ideas I have a doodle section on my Pinterest where you can find all kinds of stuff like this not my stuff but other people's stuff where you can draw you know you can get their stuff and take a look at it and see it's something that you like if you like Pen, working with pens um, God knows I have enough of them you can just kind of go into little sections and do a little bit of pen work to give it a little emphasis um, what kind of pen is this this is a Signo oh have I got it upside down Uniball it's a set of Signo Uniball pens there's that Here's the now this is a different pen. This is a Signo Uniball, but it's not the same type pen as the other one. This has a finer point on it. And this is dark blue. So you can just go in and color in the sections that you like, or you can leave it as black with the color that shows through. So on and so forth. I'm not going to color it all in, but anyway, I just want to show you guys there are ways that you can enhance the stuff you have with just the supplies you have on hand, and you don't always have to order off of Etsy. You don't always have to buy other things. This You can stamp, you can stencil anything. So this is it for how I use my scraps, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!